everyone, the Alpha Life here with the next episode of the Well-Rounded Alpha. I hope you have been training up those skills and especially the drone skills because we're going to start up with the Tristan, finally the main frigate of the Galenci Empire, especially for Alphas. And we're going to start off with this puppy. It's really an amazing fit. We're going to use this one to actually run T0 Firestorm Abyssal Sites. You have been seeing these daily challenges pop off every day and we actually get to see how we can actually run them. So, we are going to start off with the fit. It's a, it's a pretty standard fit, well, according to me, and it's just two 125 millimeter prototype Gauss guns, one MN compact afterburner, small compact PV acid cap battery, parallel enduring target painter. This one is really important because it'll help the drones track better and hit better and do more damage. Then we move on to the damage control two. Of course, we want to get some good resistances. We want to get some good health because in the abyssal resistances are very buried and we are actually going to have a detriment to thermal resistance in firestorms. So we want that damage control two. Small armor repair two. This one also requires a little bit of higher skills, but by the time you're actually done training drones, see mechanics to three, repair systems to three, and whoa, mechanics one to one. So yeah. And then we move on to the drone damage amplifier two, because most of the our damage actually comes from the drones, 97.7 DPS from the drones, so we want to make that the most. Of course, I am an alpha, as always, I'm going to show you my alpha status, see there, and that means I can only have alpha skills. So yeah, let's carry on with the small hybrid burst aerator one, and two small capacitor control circuit ones. These are not that expensive, the entire fit is not that expensive, 9.2 million is pretty good. For ammunition, we're going to use just antimatter and tungsten. Why tungsten? It gives us better range for the Skybreaker room, which we want to get some good range at. I have some Hobgoblins too, because I actually have the skills to run Hobgoblins too. If not, you can just run normal Hobgoblins, of course, you're going to have a lot less DPS. And you're going to lose them eventually, but Tech 1 Hobgoblins are extremely cheap, so they will be easy to replace, and I do suggest getting your skills as a Galente for Galente frigates and drones and armor to the max so that you can actually hit the same numbers that I am hitting. I already show you, I am an alpha myself, but I think actually this price is considering that we have a ton of filaments. So yeah, let's just empty out the filaments, so 7.5 million. And the good thing about this one is we can actually use it for the combat exploration we were using the incursors for. So yeah, we're, we can actually fit into this one if you have the same skills that I have. Uh, any alpha can get to the skills, you just need to, the time to train them. You can actually fit a corporal launcher one so that you are able to run those sites, hideaway, refuge, lookout, hideout, and I am pretty sure that this fit can also run narcotics warehouses, but that takes a little bit of time. So this can actually become your mainline frigate for most of your activities, and you will always be able to do some abyssals if you just want the daily challenges rewards, or you just have 20 minutes to get something done, and you can actually do abyssals because they are timed content. So yeah, we are going to undock here, and I'm going to show you how to use the Tristan to run these T0 Firestorms. Because it's actually pretty, pretty easy, especially if you have the skills that I have, and you've been hitting the numbers that I've been hitting. Ooh, some refuges and some hideaways. We're going to try to run them a little bit later. But yeah, mainly we are going to focus on this. And to be able to run these abyssals, we actually need to right-click on the ship, see your own name, and form fleet with yourself. This is very important because you actually need to be in a fleet if you want to activate frigate and destroy your filaments. So yeah, theoretically you need uh, three frigates to be able to run tranquil 
uh, filaments in frigates, but we can just run them in one frigate, but we will consume three filaments. So this is something to keep in mind. And now that we are on a fleet, we can just double click to activate the Firestorm filament and get ready. See this abyssal trace? If it doesn't pop up in your overview, you can just get your mouse close to it and right click and here it will show a uh, filament trace on overview so you're gonna want to do that one we're gonna activate a second time because i think only cruisers get instantly inside the abyss but yeah this feat is actually really really easy to run uh we have some lucid aegis we're just gonna approach the cache we have a short range Deviant Automata Suppressor, which are awful, and it's pretty close. So, yeah, we're going to approach the loot box and just get on the way. Launch drones. And send the drones to fight the NPC. Just send it while we approach the, the loot cache and just keep going if he gets inside 16 kilometers like right now we're gonna help our drones a little bit and shoot it with the rail guns but it's not really a priority since you know most of the dps actually comes from the drones and not from the guns and that's it we start ripping we are cap stable i recommend you to use this fit uh, to train for it to be cap stable you know the usual skills magic 14 are very important and you actually want to be able to run it with cap stability especially in the abyss because you don't want to get a room that's going to be problematic and get you into trouble considering that it's not a very expensive tristan but in the starting days those 10 million isk are going to be really helpful if you haven't gotten to the to the points that i've been getting in this one look at that oh that resistance is awful but yeah if you cannot get uh, cap stability or the damage or the dps that i'm getting consider i'm using tech two, tech two drones or something like that you may want to just keep on training those skills but you can actually use this feat even if with tech one drones you can actually use it to run hideaways hideouts lookouts and it'll be pretty nice and it can be uh, some pretty good income too. You can actually get some good drops from those sites, especially if they get to escalate, you know, Shadow of Supremities or those modules we've talked about that actually go for 4 million ISK. Those are really, really good. I used to make most of my ISK with those back in the day because just low sec ratting and running combat sites on high sec, that was pretty much everything I did for, a, for quite a while now. And most of the East I began making before I went more into low sec and began doing sites on low sec and stuff like that actually came from those uh, 4 million ISK modules. And the good thing is that most people actually do buy them because their minerals, I think, I, are worth a little bit more than that if you reprocess them. But yeah, the main thing is to just do this get the loot cache, return the drones now that they are here. Oh no, uh, uh, I got a little bit confused because I got a text message, but it's okay. We're just gonna keep shooting at him. I'm gonna orbit the gate at 2500, just, oh, he's shooting my drones. He is shooting my drones. I don't like that, uh, but he's it. So yeah, we're just gonna go in to the gate. We are good to go, ready for the next room. I'm gonna try to to stop the recording at one run because I know you don't want a, a two hour video of me hunting for a skybreaker room. But everyone knows and acknowledges that the skybreaker room is the hardest rule in Tranquil Abyssals. So I'm gonna hunt for one of those and get it to you guys because i think that will be the best demonstration of what this ship is what this fit is capable of and i think that's most of the part of the video if not the entire appeal of the video so yeah drifter slippers and uh, drifter slippers yeah but yeah so that you can see that you will not lose uh 
your ship if you ever come across a Skybreaker. I mean, they are a pretty tough not to crack, but they are not impossible, especially with this feat. We can actually keep them at range pretty easily. And as long as you keep them at range, they will not be able to destroy your drones because they usually destroy your drones when they are shooting at you. So if you're out of range, they cannot shoot you, they cannot destroy your drones. And yeah, drones are in, we can go into the origin conduit and we can get out of this abyssal site. And as you can see, five minutes almost exact, it's pretty good runtime. Yes, we have some Tech 2 modules, we have some special skills that need training, but I will search for the Skybreaker room and I will see you guys there. Hello everyone, I was just finishing the last run, but I wanted to make a recount of the loot we actually got from that one. We got some filaments, some Tranquil Electrical, some Tranquil Dark, uh, I have already only done that one run that I showed you. We got 1.7 million ISK from one run, so it's pretty good. We're all, almost always going to get a little under 2 million ISK per run with this fit. And we actually, you may remember, we took some damage to the drone. And I'm outside the station. I have waited for the tether clock to run out. And we have actually tethered to the station, and this is a pretty nice way to repair your drones and repair your ship. Even if you overheat a little bit, just get everything repaired for free. You just wait outside the station, you're tethered, you cannot be shot at, uh, no one can engage you, and it's pretty good. You can actually see how the, perf the percentage of armor of, of my drone is actually going up, and that's one way to avoid extra costs. You could actually run Fed Navy. Uh, hope goblins, which are I think the most expensive ones, and it would be really nice because they have better armor, I think better speed. They do the same amount of damage, but they have a lot better armor. So yeah, this can be a quick, cheap, and easy way to just repair them between runs. So yeah, I'll continue hunting for that skybreaker room. So I have finally found a skybreaker room and we're actually going to just run it so that you guys can see we can absolutely do it in our feet without a problem we're gonna orbit him at 20 kilometers just launch the drones get away from him change to the tungsten ammo if you want you don't really have to but i do recommend it because you will take it down a little bit easier and that's always a nice bonus so yeah you just orbit him at 20 get away from him if he cannot shoot you you just have to wait for the drones to be done with it you see i just changed the ammo types just get away from the skybreaker that's the best thing you can do especially for your drones as long as you're not in range it cannot shoot you if it shoots you it's gonna do damage to your drones so you actually want to be really careful with that and see that's just it you just Go on, get away from him, orbit him at 20. If you want, orbit him at 30. If you want, uh, the rooms are not that big, so I do recommend 20. And as long as you're at around 20 kilometers away, you want 25 just to be on the safe side. Always have to burn your own armor repair run just in case he gets to land a hit. Uh, you will actually be covered. But yeah, you just send the drones, take him down. And yeah, that's it. That's. That's as much as you need for the Skybreaker room. So yeah, as you can see, it's not really hard, no damage to our drones. Just approach the loot cache and get ready for your next abyssal. So we are back at the station. Thank you all so very much for watching. As you can see, the Tristan is for a very good reason, a favorite of Galente pilots. You can actually do a lot of things with it. Remember, still use it for combat exploration, especially in high sec and in low sec you are not going to lose a lot when you lose it because in low sec that's what happens but yeah you can actually run the 3 out of 10s of course very carefully in this feat but you can if you get those escalations in low sec you don't want to take out a blinger ship you can always take down take out this one and you can actually run some abyssals if you get stuck in place or there is a gate camp and you want to get to do something else and yeah it's a really really great feat it's Fairly fast for traveling around, fairly fast for doing hideaways and refuges, hideouts, lookouts. You're not going to have a problem with it. If you want a video on the hideouts and lookouts, uh, I can definitely make it. 
But yeah, I'm going to try to get to work on the next fits. Thank you all so very much for watching. This was the Alpha Life, and I will see you on the next one.